Hello again. So this week was um, another good session, another another really good one. It feels like it's going really well. Uh, everyone seems to be really happy and enjoying themselves. It's quite uh, yeah, a lot of positive feedback so far, uh, which is really great. Uh, it's all on the rise. We had about the same amount of people as all last week, so still, you know, good numbers. It's still getting better. I think we had one new person on the kickboxing as well, which is great. And um, it just felt like it went, everything went really well, and uh, that I kind of feel a lot more confident in myself now and like interacting with other people as well and like even when I'm at work and stuff I, st I feel like I can talk to people much easier it doesn't like bother me as much and um, I think that's partly due to the, sort of the stuff that I've learnt from the audiobook Psycho-Cybernetics but I, help, I think doing stuff like this also helps me to kind of apply it and to push myself and yeah you know, I think all this kind of perceived new confidence that I'm feeling like I've got is kind of exactly what I wanted to gain from this in the first place you know so that's really uh, encouraging that it feels like uh, I'm actually getting what I wanted out of it and it feels like uh, I can keep moving forward and getting better all the time and whatnot different ways um, so I think so far as how I'm doing as a coach and whatnot in the learning. I think I'm doing alright for the most part, yeah. It's feeling like everyone is understanding and taking on board everything I'm saying. It feels like everyone's enjoying it. I mean, they've come back and whatnot. The, the people in there last week are here this week. Um, it's only like, so far I think it's only like minor things that I can improve. I don't really think, think I'm really doing anything like super wrong or badly uh, I think it's just, I guess it's just one thing that's on my mind that I want to try and do is to just like get better at learning everyone's name and directly calling them by the name but um, I'm sure that will improve with time uh, so it's, it's going well yeah and so I suppose what I'd say with stuff like this in regards to like learning to be a coach you have to just throw yourself into it you, know? you have to just dive straight in and just do it really it's the only real way that you can learn and understand and get better at it I suppose so I guess anyone else is trying to learn to do any kind of coaching whether it's martial arts or or any other kind of sport or anything like that, or just a teacher, you just uh, you just have to dive in and do it. Uh, just experience it for yourself. It feels I'm I'm enjoying it more as a result of being more confident in it and feeling more relaxed, and like less tense or anxious. Because when you're all tense and anxious all the time, it really drains your mental energy a lot. And it just gets really tiring and you just can't be bothered. <laughs> but it's a bit different, it's like the reverse when you start to be more relaxed and confident and enjoying it. It kind of buzzes you up, it gives you more energy. It's kind of quite interesting the way that sort of mental energy works. But yeah, it's, it's quite interesting to experience this kind of weird change this sudden I'm, I, I, know, I feel like I noticed an increased uh, sense of possibility if that makes sense 
Yeah, I feel good looking forwards anyway. Um, I guess, what is it, something I was thinking as well that I could try and learn to get better at or do ne better next time is uh, how what the best thing to say to someone to make them more likely to join after a session because we had someone in the adult class who was uh, just like a, a trial, a free trial so it was his first one, he was experiencing it and you know he seemed to really enjoy it, he really he had a good time and you know uh, we asked him afterwards if he wanted to join and he was like yeah really liked it definitely wanted to join but it reminded me of something someone said to me uh, on Friday like, or something at, at my Jiu Jitsu class where I, where I actually learn to train, I don't coach but uh, they were on about phrasing it differently so you're not directly asking them the question do you want to join because it kind of gives them yes and no, you want to kind of ignore the fact that the, the no's there and you just want to kind of um, so not exactly tell them uh, it's just the way you word it if that makes sense I'm trying to remember what uh, it said was a better way of phrasing it so if you say do you want to join directly? It makes them think about pros and cons and all this other stuff and you kind of want to push that to the side and only focus on what's good. I can't remember, I'm going to have to come back to that in a sec. Ah, I remember now. It was, you go, you asked them, like, did you enjoy yourself? And obviously they did. They usually do, they always they generally do intend to enjoy themselves and they'll say yes, I did enjoy myself and then you go, great, go over to uh, that person over there, they're like, they're like we have in the club we have like a sort of admin type person who deals with the the parents and the people who are signing up and stuff, she deals with like registration forms and whatnot. So it'll be like, oh, great, go see that person over there and she'll get you signed up and sort it out like that. See you you just ask them if they enjoyed it and then kind of direct them straight towards the registration form afterwards so it's just a different way of doing it and it seems to I think probably works pretty well but I need to remember to like actually try it because we just went in and said uh, do you want to join and it made me think uh, try to think back to what is a little bit better but yeah uh, so um, I finished this this book, this Wing Chun book. I finished it over the course of a week. It, I read quite a big chunk of it on like the weekend, last weekend, and yeah, I, I got through it a lot faster than I thought it would. But I guess that's because it's largely there's a lot of pictures that take up space. There's not actually a massive amount of stuff in it, but. I guess Wing Chun isn't like a super, it's not like, like a martial art like Jiu Jitsu where there's loads of different techniques and whatnot. It's all, it's more like principles. It's more like a martial art of these different principles and things. You've got stuff about center line theory. Trapping. And whatnot. Different being trying to be efficient so like only moving as much as you need to move not moving more than you need to do because it slows you down and stuff like that and like a whole third of this book is dedicated to like all these pictures which show you how to do like the first form or like the first kata of Wing Chun like a massive array of pictures right this big chunk of the book is all just for that one bit so yeah I got through it really fast but I did enjoy it, I think there's uh, some good point things to take away from this some interesting things that I want to try out uh, of course with any old style thing there's plenty of like 
weird garbage in there as well, but you can just ignore that, that's alright. <laughs> so, going to be on this next. Ooh. Really looking forward to this one. Very, very interesting to read through this. Um, it's such nice and pristine, I'm going to have to like bend it up. When I read it, I'm going to have to ruin it. It won't be perfect like this anymore. I guess the same as with this. But it's oh well. But yeah, I'm going on holiday tomorrow, actually. Um, so from Monday to Friday, I'll, I'll be away on holiday, and I'll probably have plenty of time to get through a decent chunk of this. It's, it's much. It is bigger than this book. I mean, obviously, like the size of it is bigger. Uh, it, there's less pictures, so there's more wor information on each page in written form. It's a bit thicker as well, so this might take a little while. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this one with me on holiday as well, just to study it in depth a little bit more and refer back to it, because I'm still trying to fully extract stuff and like memorize certain bits of it that I like and want to take out of it. Yeah, I'll probably do that one on holiday. <clears throat> As for like uh, main content videos on the channel, uh, I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> whether I might film something when I'm at ho on holiday. Because uh, I'm going to Centre Parks. It's quite outdoorsy there. I don't know. I might film something or I might just be lazy because I'm on holiday I might not I might leave it for a week uh, I'm sure it won't matter that much at, anyway at this stage because I've got like not many subscribers but it doesn't matter I make stuff I make these videos for the fun of it because uh, I like it kind of encourages me to become even more invested in martial arts which is my life uh, I think that's uh, about it for this week then, I suppose. So, I'll see you next time.